Next, we'll hear from Darcy Key, CPCU, from the class of 2018. Class of 18, let's give ourselves another round of applause. Like many graduating high school seniors, I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. I was kind of good at math, so I thought, you know what, when I enrolled at Ball State University, I, was th I thought I would follow in my uncle's actu actuarial steps and become an actuary one day. But, you know, it, it wasn't, didn't work out that way. When I declared actual science my major, I went ahead and declared insurance as my minor. But little did I know, a car crash that I would experience would extinguish my hopes of ever becoming an actuary. Three weeks into my senior year at Ball State, I was the only backseat survivor in a fatal car crash. My two friends next to me died from injuries they sustained when our car was broadsided by a semi-tractor trailer. My injuries were life-threatening. Two traumatic brain injuries, a brain bleed, collapsed lung processed to half my body. Damage to the left side of my brain caused me to lose memory of my entire actuarial science major. Gone were the days of performing complex mathematical equations. I had to start over, and I was learning just to tie my shoes. While I was in the hospital, though, I experienced a miraculous recovery. My faith in God sustained my family. But due to my brain injury, since I couldn't remember my actuarial science studies, when I went back to Ball State, I switched my major to insurance. Now, having a brain injury is kind of like having attention deficit disorder. You can't concentrate on what you want to read, and because you can't concentrate on it, you can't retain it, and because you can't retain it, you can't recall it. So tackling a new major had astounding challenges. But through perseverance and determination, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in 1993, a short 18 months after the car crash. Thanks. Just one month after college graduation, while working as a personal lines underwriter for Continental Insurance, I took my first CPC exam. The company encouraged its employees to continue their education by taking courses that would enhance their ability and knowledge of not only the insurance industry, but also current trends. Well, I didn't pass my CPC exam either. My self-confidence plummeted like stock values in a market crash. But I was resilient and determined to do well despite my memory issues. To rebuild my confidence, I took exams for the AU and AIS and earned those designations in September 1997 and October 1998, respectively. A few years later, I got married and started a family. At this point, I only had two more CPC exams left to take. I knew I wanted to continue in my professional development and grow my career, but I found it extremely difficult with my memory issues to work full time as an insurance underwriter, to be a wife and mother to our daughter, and also continue my studies. So I put the goal of earning my CVC on the back burner. Fast forward to fall 2017. My daughter enters high school. The discussion of continuing, and for those of you parents, you understand this, the discussion of continuing her education beyond high school started to form. Throughout her childhood, I emphasized the, the importance of an education and the role it plays in, one, in your life if you do get a good education. But in the back of my mind was, I hadn't continued my CVCU. Here I was telling her to can you continue her education, but I wasn't doing that for myself. Well, she motivated me to take those final two exams and not give up on my goals. I studied many, many hours and I'm sure everyone else did too, and, and I watched the lesson deities multiple times, so much so it was funny when my husband was going upstairs one time, um, I made a comment back to the TV because I'd watched it too many times. <laughs> but, and in this year, I did pass those final two exams and got my designation. We celebrated like it was the best day ever <laughs> after. I'm sure I did too. And if it wasn't for my daughter's encouragement and support from my husband, I wouldn't be standing here right now and sharing that extreme excitement and sense of accomplishment like everyone else here has. I wouldn't have experienced that. I share my story to inspire those who may have given up for a number of reasons. 
I hope that someone who hears my story says, hey, if she can do that, so can I. So thank you so much, and congratulations again to the class of 2018.